I'm attached and I'm going to tell you the spookiest story that still haunts me to this day. Arklov Peak. The map already looked a little scary and to only make it a little bit scarier, playing at COD Champs. There was some woods, snow, mountains. You're very, very secluded when you're up there. It was a 1-0 in the series. Pretty sure we have a pretty good start to start off this map too because you know going up 2-0 in a series is great. Looking for some picks with the sniper. Trying to look for any people peeking. And then the worst thing happens, you get a hit marker. Even though we got a hit marker, we're able to get to get the bomb down, get the kill, and uh, secure the round. They go for a heavy B push. We're at A, but then we have accuracy in the top window. He took out one, he took out two, and he takes out three. We got formal sniping people through walls. That's pretty scary. Hit the window, get the bomb planter. Now it's down to a 1v2. And then this is where it could go bad. If he gets one kill and finesses and gets away, luckily he gets traded right there. So all the way from a 5v2 to a 1v1. So back to the offense. We already have control and momentum of the game. So we're just trying to make them feel uncomfortable, make them feel like they need to make a play and uh, use it to our advantage. 5v4, this is a huge round to go up 3-0. RC gets a big kill on me. Mac instantly trades it 4v3, but they know we're going A. We get the bomb down, we get killed on the flank, and now it's a 3v3. So we absolutely have to clutch this round up. And then we get killed again. So now it's a 2v3. Now it's a 1v3. So from all the way from a 4v3 to a 1v3. And this is where things start getting scary. The blood starts flowing a little bit. The nerves start creeping in. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what we can do the rest of the game. Uh, 48 to 54, like 119 in game, where all falls down. We get the first blood, so things are looking good. They're in our favor. We know where we are, where, where they are, what we can and can't do. We get another kill, makes it down to a 4v3. We just have to trade out effectively and uh, hopefully close the game out. Unfortunately, they get one kill, another kill, trade it out. Now it comes down to a 2v2. So now we're forced to plant the bomb for their side. I'm pretty much a sacrificial lamb, planting the bomb at A. Now it comes down to a 2v1, bombs down, and then we get pushed out, taken out, and go down four to five. But we have a defense to bounce back, try and get another round under our belt, because if we lose this, game's over. We win it, we push it to a round 11. Now it's down to a 3v4. Good wall bang, 3v3. 2v3, 2v2, I get flanked, 2v1. Our life's on the line right here. We need to win this. Big first kill, 1v1. This is a game of just the headsets. You're just hearing each other running around. And a big gunfight win out of Zuma to clutch that round up. But we've made it to round 11. Playing scared, hiding, waiting for someone to peek. No one wants to be that first guy that gets killed. Really no signs of life at all. But then we have the smokes out. We're gonna work to get to the bomb site and get the bomb down. Tem does his job. But then we go down again in numbers. 3v5, 2v5, 2v4, traded. And you just know while you're spectating this that you just lost the map. And that's just one of the worst feelings. After it all falls down, it crumbles, collapses right in front of your eyes. Ha <laughs> ha